Hi, welcome to the show. Today we caught up with crack climbing crusher Tom Randall, who's just put up a new super hard and very dangerous route in the Peak District. We'll let Tom explain more. So a couple of weeks ago, I did this new route down at um, Ilham Rock, which is in the southern white peak in Derbyshire. I um, was working this new trad line, a limestone route, something like 8A plus 8B to top rope it, um, but it's a traditional line protected by sky hooks and RPs and little bits of gear and really sustained, good, hard, traditional limestone route. You walk through this idyllic village and cross a small stone bridge and then walk down this beautiful valley which eventually after a mile or so puts you in front of Ilham Rock and the scenery opens out and you've got this incredible looking limestone pinnacle. Essentially I was going to this crag or have been for the last couple of years and I've been trying to tick some of the harder routes there. I've kind of worked through them all um, or most of them um, at the top end anyway. I suppose the logical thing is that when you've done that, you start looking for things that are even harder. And I spotted this logical line that went up the face that previously I wouldn't have been capable of doing. And I had this window of opportunity of being pretty fit at the moment, strong from bouldering, and it all worked really well together. When I say to anyone, oh, I'm done for dangerous routes with it, my bit, my definition of a bit normally means a couple of weeks, maybe. <laughs> Um, I think I maybe don't operate on the same time scales, so uh, it wasn't an issue going back to something that was a bit risky. Um, but having said that, it, it was a safer route than Pure Now for sure, and um, it was more of a combination of something that was quite a bit harder than Pure Now, but also had some spice factor to it. On the lower wall, there's uh, four sky hooks that you place, and the last one is just before one of the hardest moves on the whole route. And I had tensioned the rope, um, or the way in which I put the gear above it, had made the rope um, make a slight kind of deviation from the line, which caused the sky hook to kind of rotate out the pocket and it was nearly falling out and I looked down and, and basically uh, I was kind of annoyed with myself because I hadn't thought about it um, of what this would happen, what would happen on with the rope and it was a bit of a kind of, uh, I don't know, tantrum moment where I, I just kicked it out um, let it fall down the rope. Kind of because I was annoyed with myself and kind of because I was annoyed with the skyhook that it wasn't doing me any favours. But it's the silliest thing to have done because I really should have just left it in because even if it wasn't as good as it was originally, it might have done something. Um, and I slightly regretted it afterwards, but I had to deal with it. Stopping out one final round was um, mainly a feeling of relief on this one because it's a curious route because it breaks down into three very distinctive uh, parts. One is the bottom part which is very uh, bold and um, or relatively bold and uh, hard climbing and you're really pleased when you get through that bottom section but then most key above that is the next two thirds you're just trying to hold it together and not mess up because you never want to do that bottom section uh, again and it's very easy to fall off make a slight mistake and it's really pumpy and I was really close to uh, falling off right at the top and I was pretty relieved not to. On the crucial hold break on me which is a little bit worrying and you put in a friend and you give it a good yank and it looks bomber and just pulls out. Ah, oh, right in the pool!
Thanks, Tom. Maybe next time leave the skyhook in place? <laughs> Okay, so this is my last episode as a guest presenter. Thank you so much for having me and hopefully I'll see you in the future.